Uh, obviously, you know, three matches left in regular season. The next yeah. five days really determining playoff position outside of decision day two. It's close. How much does this team kind of understand the importance of the next five days in these two real games? I think they've heard it. I think they do their own conversations amongst themselves. Uh, they obviously see the standings like everybody else. I mean, one loss, one win, you know, depending on other results. So it's exciting. It's an exciting time if you're a soccer fan. Certainly, you know, we'd like to, you know, do the business here one of these couple of road games and make sure we do the business at home against Portland, but they're all they're all hard games. What have you enjoyed most from watching this team in the last, you know, four four matches undefeated at this front of play and even going back the last three months, I mean seven, two and one in your last ten regular season matches. Yeah, I think the guys have played well. Look, we overcame a lot of adversity in the beginning of the year. I think the guys have kind of settled in nicely. You know, getting Pedro back has helped. Uh, you know, so I think I think they're just seeing the fruits of their labor. JP and Leo's. Uh, Leo's good. JP and Raul were training off. Well, JP was a little bit more in training, but he's not going to make it. Uh, Raul's very questionable, but you know, we'll, we'll get him back. Uh, I expect all of them to be back for either Colorado or for the Portland match. Any more details on Raul Ridias? What's the this is his knee and his toe. What was your reaction to Jose Vargas in the uh, I, was, I was excited. I mean, we get the stuff internally, uh, but it's 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 a newsworthy item. I mean, here's a young man who, you know, has a bright future, and he's called into a big big time camp. I think it's a great opportunity for him, and it's credit to him. From the U23s just a couple of months ago, is it surprising at all that it's this quick to get the call up? No, the because I see him in training every day. He's good enough. I mean, we talked about it a little bit. He played against Karen Skia, you know, and we were talking about that battle. He's gone up against Ricky Pugue and some really top-notch players in our league, and he can do it. So he's just got to believe he can do it. He talked, but he gave credit to all the coaches, but specifically uh, Preki. And he talked about how Preki helped him with his attacking. Can you talk about how you've seen that evolution of his game? He's developed in a lot of different areas, sure. and I've got a great coaching staff. Uh, they do an excellent job. I mean, and he's still out here working with Georgie and, you know, getting him right. And, you know, they do a good job, and the players appreciate it. I appreciate them. And, Ryan, just I'm going to rewind. Uh, did you see the, the tape and how you played from the back? Just that, this, that was one of your better games. Look, they had, they had way more possession than us, but I thought there were times when we were able to possess the ball. Uh, I thought we were, I mean, their expected goals was very low, so even though they had possession, we didn't give them any big chances. So overall, I thought the game was good. That improvement in terms of awareness of your, game, of your team and that by knowing when to hold the ball, when to pass the ball. Well, I wish we would have held on to a little more than 30 whatever it was, 38%. Yeah. I mean, I wish we would have, but you know, we won one nothing, and we're moving forward. Uh, you mentioned uh, that there is some performance that when it comes to the limit of minutes that Pedro has had. What does he need to do to continue to build more time, and what is, your, is he not doing tactically? Or He's doing everything right. We're just, you know, it's just a substitution that's made during the course of the game. And it's not just Pedro, it's everybody. So right now, at this time of the year, performance is critical. He's building up his fitness. He looks better in training. So I'm expecting good things from him. Yeah, Pedro is your young DP, though. I mean, is it concerning that maybe he's still out of sync? He still doesn't feel like he's fitting the offense, the the way to maybe take all his skills out on the field? I don't know if you've heard that directly from him, but he seems like he's fitting in very well. You felt like he was in sync yeah. in the last game? Brian, is there... It, indicators now that whether you're winning or you're losing and hopefully in a game that you make substitution because of where it is and what the score is and when your next game is. Sure. I think I've always done that. Uh, Cascadia Cup games obviously are always important, but this year they're going to be two big games and, and that are going to have direct impact on the standings. Is it, I don't know, do you put more emphasis on it? Do you try to diminish some of it? How do you approach no. those, those two games? We never diminish the Cascadia Cup. Uh, it's two of our arch rivals in a unique tournament. 
that history has given us the opportunity to compete in that tournament every year. I think it's great. It celebrates the Pacific Northwest, the three clubs. I think there's a lot of good that comes out of it. We always remind them prior to those matches that this is going to be towards the Cascadia Cup and we do our jobs and hopefully the players understand that. Last year we had a good result up there. We're going to hopefully do the same. What have you seen out of Vancouver? It seems like they've moved some formations. They've had some guys in and they've out. They've had too. a heavy schedule. They have played a lot of games. I mean, a lot of big games. Uh, you know, and it takes its toll. But I appreciate Manny, his, you know, his enthusiasm for his team. I think he's a great coach. And he'll have his team back. How comforting is it knowing that, at least defensively, you guys have been so consistent. Last game, uh, it seemed like Yay, Marin Jackson, even Alex have a really, really good game in that one. Yeah. I know you like Yay, Mar, but everybody else is pitching in as well. I think everybody had a good performance. Even, you know, even the line of confrontation up front with Jordan and Albert, they did their jobs. They did it very well. Have you been emphasizing that, just how important that is, your line of confrontation we always do we always do you know we, yeah, look on our team everybody has to defend right. it starts up there that, it starts up there everybody has to defend that's the way we work i guess what i'm saying is you give any more emphasis like the san jose game i would assert there was a lack of that or uh not sure you're going with that question Moz, but i'll try and answer it late in the game could we have established a higher line of confrontation against san jose yes could we have been better defensively? Yes, but we also could have possessed the ball and killed the game as well. So that performance wasn't one of our best, but we moved on from that. Thanks for answering.